The Misha All Round Safe Luck Essence Sun Milk make me think about how everyone needs a sunscreen wardrobe. I mean, no matter how much you love that one shirt you feel so good in, you won't be able to wear it year round no matter the occasion. Same is true for sunscreens. You obviously have your favorite, the one you reach for the most, but you also have one for the office, one that plays well on the makeup, one for the beach, and one for comfortable reapplication. Let me tell you in today's review where I think the Misha Sun Essence fits in best. If you're new here, welcome! I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. The main focus on the website seems to be on the hydration it provides, the moistness to be precise, and less on the actual sun protection. They even have a picture of a device measuring a level of moisture in the skin. For whatever that is worth, I am not a believer in these devices. This is a very runny sunscreen and really behaves like a milk rather than a light cream. It is white and did initially leave a white cast on my rather pale skin, but that disappeared pretty quickly. It has a very faint, perfumey floral scent. This can be used as last step in your routine. It spreads like a dream, sinks in without tackiness, and works great under makeup. The finish in this one is more on the dewy side, like I find to be true for most Asian sunscreens, but it didn't look greasy on my combination skin. I usually don't use it like that though, as it only has a UVA protection rating of PA++++, meaning a PPD of 12 to 16, but prefer it for reapplication, especially on the very balmy office days. Of course, it would be better to opt for the highest level of protection against UV rays too, not just once in the morning, but sometimes the layer of sunscreen, makeup, and sweat in the humid air is just too much to even think about, anything even remotely more heavy. This is when, true to the saying, the best sunscreen is the one you actually wear, I grab my bottle of sun essence and top up. As it contains alcohol in the formula, I would be careful putting it very close to the eyes if they are sensitive. Mine sometimes are, but I never had any issues with stinging. Looking at the sunscreen filters used, it is mainly older ones, which isn't that surprising seeing that the first version of this one was already released in 2017. It contains octinoxate, best at UVB protection, octocrylene, mainly UVB, some UVA, Octisalat, UVB, Avobenzone, UVA, and then a more modern one, Tinozolb S, both UVA and UVB. Other than that, there are really a lot of different plant extracts, with aloe and green tea being the ones best known, as well as silicones and alcohol that are probably responsible for the lightweight feel and fragrance. I think the plant extracts are what is referred to as the four seasonal flower extracts that make up the moisturizing essence. If I were to repurchase, I would probably go for the violet version that claims a velvet finish and has better UVA protection ratings. It still is a great sunscreen for those that already hate the feeling of something on their skin, my husband for example. If pigmentation is your main concern, though, it probably isn't the best for you. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comment below. I will link to more videos on the screen that I think you might find interesting and add links to my Instagram, blog, and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!